Good morning, you guys. It's Sunday. I just got home from grocery shopping, started laundry, feeling very accomplished this morning. But I wanted to make something different for brunch today. So I'm going to be making these orange crescent rolls. Um, they're actually just called orange rolls because that tin over there, I'm going to be using that. So you're going to need one large orange, but I don't have a large orange. I'm going to use some cuties. And then one thing of crescent rolls. Um, I just have the Walmart version, but you know, you can get Pillsbury, whatever you want. Gonna need some powdered sugar, regular sugar, and a tablespoon of butter. So let's get started. All right, so you roll out the crescent roll dough and you'll see like four triangles on um, bottom and top. And then there's like little perfor perforated lines. Um, and then you have to kind of pinch that together. So it's a semi looking like a rectangle, two rectangles. Then you're going to um, paint the butter all over the dough and then sprinkle the sugar and then um, some orange zest. Now we're gonna roll these up lengthwise, both of these. And there's a different way that you cut these. I'm gonna leave the recipe down below because it's gonna be hard for me to film that part for you guys. But I'll show you how it looks all arranged in the tin. Okay, I might have cut mine incorrectly, I'm not sure because I think I should have more rolls than I do, but I guess mine will just be extra puffy. So I'm gonna cook these for 12 to 15 minutes just like the crescent roll. Um, directions say to do and then I'm going to make an orange icing for the top You guys these smell so good. They're starting to puff up This is what they look like coming out of the oven They're So cute and tiny. So I'm gonna pour the icing on the top of it now. All right So here's our Sunday brunch. These are the orange rolls. They smell incredible and me and Gavin actually took a little taste and they are so delicious and Some scrambled eggs actually cheesy scrambled eggs and bacon. All right, you guys, I'm going to make a smoothie, a summer smoothie for Gavin and I this morning. So I already have two frozen bananas in here, unsweetened vanilla almond milk, um, and the protein powder, which is this one. It's just vanilla, Herbalife one. I didn't put this in yet because I'm only going to put this in mine. This is the aloe gut health stuff. And then collagen peptides is already in there. And then I'm going to, I cut up some champagne mangoes, two of them. And then going to do some watermelon as well. So here's what the smoothie looks like. It's super tropical. I really like the combo. All right, you guys, I feel like I'm back in action. Got my nails done today because I just couldn't take it any longer. I broke a nail and I was like, you know what? I need to get acrylic back on my nails. And I just wanted my shape, this almond shape back. So yeah, for the time being, back to acrylic. I know some of you are gonna be a little judgmental about that, but it's just what it is. I work in a business like, you know, that you need your your hands to look good. I'm not talking about YouTube. I'm talking about my everyday nine to five job. So this color is called Mulberry from DND Gel Polish. So that's what I've got on. And I love how they turned out. They're perfect. All right, you guys, I have my workout gear on, but I have not worked out yet. And usually I work out in the morning, but I overslept to be honest. I just really needed the sleep, I think. So I am determined to still get it done today. And I'm running a bunch of errands first though. So I've already gotten my nail appointment done. I had emails to get through. I finished that. Made the smoothie with Gavin this morning. I haven't eaten since. So I do need to go home and get some protein in me. And then I'm going to go to Target because I need to pick up some 10 pound weights. Cause right now the heaviest weight I have is a five pound, which was fine, but it's not doing it anything for me now. I real I do so many reps now because the weight is too light. So I'm going to get some new dumbbells. I need to get a gift for Mr. Darcy, who is our pup in the office, the sheep -a doodle um, I can't believe he's already a year old and I feel like I've helped raise him, you know, since he's been in the office almost every day for a long time. Now he takes turns with the other emotional support pup in the office. And some of you have asked like, um, where does he go when you guys aren't there? He goes home with my doctor. It's her dog. Um, and he does not go in the patient's room all the time. Like depends on the situation. Um, obviously he doesn't go into any room where we do procedures. That's not sanitary. He only stays in like the front office area. Um, unless the patient asks for him to come in for emotional support. So he's awesome. I love him to pieces. So I'm going to go get him probably some treats and maybe a little toy or something for his birthday, um, something fun for him. And then I'm gonna think, run home because I have to edit a video. 
I have a list. You guys don't care about my laundry list of things to do. I have to finish laundry, crap. I gotta go home first. <laughs> Get some lunch and finish laundry, and then I'm gonna go run the rest of my errands. So I will take care of you guys. Right, you guys, I'm debating on if I'm gonna get him this donut or the pretzel, because they're both durable. This one has a rope inside of it. I don't know, I might get him, I think I'm gonna get him this one, because he likes to do tug of war. And this has a rope inside in it. Weeks. And then I'm getting him these treats. You guys, I'm at the dollar spot, and look how many cute things they have for um, keeping healthy. They have these sticker labels for your um, free meal planning. And then they have these little lunch boxes. And then these, don't kill my vibe. They have these really cute insulated bags too. A bunch of different styles. These are little storage containers for your snacks. I'm getting one of those. They had bigger ones as well, but this one's broken and I don't see any others. I'm also getting one set of these. These are reusable utensils that you can wash and reuse for work. So I totally need something like that. So I'm gonna grab those. And then I've always wanted to try these food covers if they work. I'm totally gonna love them because I use Saran Wrap all the time. And these are BPA free, food safe. You're not supposed to use it in the microwave though. You guys, I just got out of Target. I had my mask on, don't worry. Um, no weights. They are sold out of every single weight. Not just a 10 pound weight. I would have taken an eight, a 10, a 15, nothing. They're all sold out, which I mean, good. That means people are trying to work out at home. So I'm not discounting that, but it just really sucks because I need them. ASAP. So I think Amazon is sold out of the ones that I wanted as well. So I think I'm just going to maybe try Bed Bath & Beyond. Maybe even Costco has weights. I don't know. So I'm going to try something else. First world problems. 100% first world problems. I found some really awesome things though for meal prep and for like um, reusing things and not being wasteful to our environment. So I'm really excited and they were uh, all of them were under three dollars three dollars or less and I'll show you when I get home also pier one is going out of business really sad one of my favorite home decor spots and mama B and I actually went yesterday and I picked up a few things so I'm gonna share those with you in this vlog as well um, I don't think I'm gonna get half the things on my to-do list done today but it's okay <laughs> so I'm gonna head on home now so I started putting some of the pier one goodies out around the house and I totally forgot that I wanted to share them with you guys before I put them out. By the way, I repurposed these canisters into putting like food items in them instead of decorative. I cleaned them out first, of course. But anyways, um, let me go over the Pier 1 goodies that I've gotten on sale. I don't know if they're online as well. If they are, then I will make sure to link whatever I can below. Um, but seeing as it's a going out of business sale, for sure grab them while you can. So I needed some just like plain linen napkins like this for my bar area. And I'll show you how I use them in a moment. But I just thought these were so pretty. So I got three of these. I honestly should have just gotten a full set of these because, you know, once they're gone, they're gone. But right now, a lot of the things are only 10% off. And I have a feeling as time goes on, they're going to get even cheaper. So I just decided to get what I needed for now, which is three. And then I got these little, like little topiary balls um, to replace the ones I have on the candlestick. Right now I have the ones that are like cotton little balls. I'll show you in a second. I just wanted a little more color in that room. So I decided to get these since they were on sale. Um, I think these ones were 30% off and they're really, really inexpensive. Um, these, even though this looks like it should be a set, it was not. <laughs> these were separate and this is separate. Um, but just, this is like, you know, the little salad. Oh my gosh, why can't I talk today? You know what I mean. You stir, you uh, toss your salad, little salad tosser thingies. By the way, you'll see that I'm pretty obsessed with this beaded detail. It's so country and so freaking aesthetically pleasing. I love them. So I did get a lot of this style. Um, I've been lusting after all of these pieces for a while from Pure One, but they were so expensive. So having it at a discount was definitely very nice. So this is like a nice tossing like vegetable bowl, salad bowl. And then 
Mama B actually got me these two cutting boards. No, I got this one. She got this one for me. This one's like the charcuterie. I don't know how you say that. I always say things wrong. You know what I mean? Like where you have like the meats and cheeses and crackers and stuff. I've always wanted one and I thought this one was so nice. So I have that one and then I have this one, which could also be the same kind of thing. Um, but I also thought I would use this for bread when we have company over. And then this piece under here, I absolutely love it. It looks like weathered wood. Well, it is weathered wood. And it has like a grayish brown tone to it. And then the handle itself is distressed. Um, and then the handle itself is distressed, as you can see. So I will show you. I'm going to put this on our dining room table. And I have a complete idea of how I'm going to use this. Um, so you'll see that very shortly, probably in the same vlog. And then I also got these underneath the plates here in the dining room aren't they so nice <laughs> i love them wait till you see how it looks when they're all put together because it's very summer it has a summer vibe to it and then this lamp this floor lamp here isn't it so cool mama b got this for me for mother's day i think i showed you guys last week on the vlog that she got me that cookbook for mother's day she did not tell me about this lamp and then she also got it at the pier one sale so hopefully it's still available where you are because it's so nice. I love it. Let me get closer. I just love like this knotted detail here. By the way, yes, we still need to hang this picture, but I did, I don't know if I showed you last week, but I did reorganize this. These are from Pottery Barn Teen Home Goods a while ago though. These are still available. I don't know. It was either Hobby Lobby or Home Goods. But yeah, home goods, <laughs> not very helpful. These two are from Wayfair. They're two separate pieces and they're absolutely beautiful. Gold details and mirrored with these little gem accent handles. So if you wanna glam your makeup area, those are perfect. I'll make sure to link them for you. Okay, we also got some rugs during the Pier 1 sale. They were I'm thinking 30 to 40% off. If I'm not mistaken, this one is a five by seven. It's so nice. It's super soft and plush. And this one's from Magnolia Home. Chris and I both love this pattern. It's so nice. So we're actually going to put this one in our bedroom, we think. Um, we just laid it out here to kind of flatten out since it was rolled up. So the edges kind of flatten out. But there's one. And then I have two more in our kitchen area. One from Pier 1 and one from Target that I haven't shown you guys. So this is the other one from Pier 1. This one was $30 originally, but then also the discount. And Lucy loves this one. At some point, I'll catch her on it and film her, but she, I think she thinks it's her new little place to lay down. Um, and then we have another one in the kitchen that I, I got at Target. That's this one here. I mean, I fully intend that this is gonna get dirty but that's what things are for and I will wash it, but I think it makes, I don't know, it makes the kitchen. I like, I like having rugs. Chris was right, he told me that. <laughs> I was like, I don't wanna have rugs, they'll get dirty, but it does bring some detail. I also got a set of these coasters. I told you, kind of obsessive about this beaded. So I usually have them all in there, but I left two out because Chris and I usually have a drink over here. And then this is what I was talking about, putting little toperaries. These little toperary things. I definitely think it gives a little added color. These are what I had before, which I love them still, and I'll use them somewhere else, but I'm just replacing them for now. Sorry if you guys can hear the laundry in the background, but just wanted to show you this is what I did with the linen napkins. And these both are from Pier One, but from a while ago. So sad, like I just love their stuff and now they're not gonna be around. Oh my gosh, you guys, I feel totally gross. 30 minute Pilates fusion cardio and full body toning workout is what I just did. <sighs> so I need to get some more plates, but this is what I did. I need to get one more of these flowers too. All right, you guys, sweaty, 
Wednesday workout done. I did 30 minute no equipment arms and abs workout. And you'll be surprised how much your arms burn like crazy with no weights. It's insane. Um, so yeah, I really love the Pop Sugar Fitness workouts. I feel like I sweat and get the most out of my workout since I'm only doing 30 to 45 minutes every day. Um, I just like really want to work as hard as I can where my muscles are burning and I'm sweating. So yeah, proof is in this. So as I'm getting ready this morning, this is my little partner in crime. She's like, mom, don't film me. Are you so it's a good girl, Lucy? <laughs> She's totally ignoring me. Good girl. I know you're just relaxing. I know. <laughs> she loves her bed. So I just wanted to show you guys my makeup of the day today. I just did an arm workout today because my ankle was in really bad shape. Most of you know that I got in an accident years ago and I have metal in my ankle and just sometimes it doesn't want to cooperate. And this morning it was not having anything. So I had to ice it and just did like a quick arm workout. So tomorrow I definitely want to um, try and do a full on cardio. By the way, I totally have a sports bra on. I just took the straps down so I could um, do some glowiness on my, um, you know, chest area here. So that's why it looks like I have nothing on. Um, my blush, I'm still wearing that Becca Honey blush. I'm totally in love with it for the summer. My lip color is this Estee Lauder. I'm almost out of it. This little mini lipstick in, it's a pure color envy lipstick in number 120 desirable. It's like such a perfect, beautiful nude. Um, my brows, I did a couple different things. I don't know if I like the color of my brows today. I guess they're okay. Um, I'll have to do a brow routine soon. My eye look though, I love how glowy and golden this shadow is. It's from Tarte and it's one of their chrome paint shadow pots in sun drenched. And it's just like this beautiful golden warm shadow. And then I did do two like matte browns also like in my crease, but the majority of what you're seeing is that the shadow from Tarte. Um, as I drop it. Okay. Anyways, I need to go and get dressed and ready for work, but I just wanted to show you my makeup really quick. All right, you guys. So I'm not going to vlog every single step of this. I'll leave the link um, down below for this recipe, but I've tossed my chicken in a flour mixture here. And then here we have garlic, lemon, and um, chicken broth. You can use white wine as well. And then I've got my pasta all nice and cooked. And now I'm going to be combining these things. Parmesan cheese is also involved. All right, here's the finished product. The chicken's kind of incorporated with the pasta. I don't know if you guys can tell. Had a little bit of a sore throat, was manageable, but then I started getting some other symptoms. TMI, but it was my time of the month, so I think that I'm just, I easily get sick during that time. So I do think I have something going on bacterial because my lymph node is super swollen. It's been for like the last five days. So, um, I was able to get some antibiotics. So I'm going to start that today. So Chris is forcing me to lay down and get some rest because I'm still feeling sicky. But, um, Bilt Bar came out with some bars that have real fruit chunks in them. This one's the mango. You know, I had to try that one first because I love mango so much. It's good. I think I just like the regular ones though. I'm not too big on the chunks, like the little fruit chunks in it, but it is still really delicious. And you can definitely taste the real fruit, which is pretty cool. So if you love fruit, then I think that these will be a winner for you. Um, I have a ton of other flavors I'm gonna be trying out soon too, but this is the first one I've tried. So I'm just doing some laundry, even though I'm really supposed to be resting. Chris is gonna kick my booty. Just realize that's upside down, there we go. Um, but I just wanted to show you, I'm putting together the three tier tray for 4th of July or around America's birthday. Um, these are found at the dollar spot. This is from Hobby Lobby, dollar spot, Ray Dunn, dollar spot, the little utensils there. Isn't this awesome? We decided to get this for the house because we were always like, are these clean or dirty, the dishes? So now we have this, this is from Target. I can link it for you guys, but it's been so helpful. So I'm obviously not anywhere near done with the, with the tiered tray, but this is what it looks like so far.